What's up everybody, Zach here with Sonia Quilting. Today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome turn dash quilt. Let's get started. To start off with, we're going to cut down all of our pieces. I've gone ahead and done that, and the measurements for all of these are in the pattern that is in the description below, so don't feel pressured to have to memorize all of this. For my focus fabric, I'm going to have four pieces that are cut down to two and a half inches by four and a half inches, and then two pieces that are cut down to five inch square. Then for my background fabric, I'm going to have, again, my pieces that are two and a half inches by four and a half inches. There's four of those. My two squares that are five inches. One piece that is a four and a half inch square. And then lastly, a one and a half inch by 12 and a half inch piece of sashing. So once you get all that cut down, we'll go ahead and assemble the block. The first thing you're gonna do is you're going to take your pieces, your um, two and a half inch by four and a half inch strips, and you're going to lay them down right sides together, just like that. And then go ahead and sew along one long edge. Go ahead and sew all of your pieces together just like that. For the next step of this, you're going to make your half square triangles. Take your five inch piece of focus fabric and one of your five inches of, there we are, of your background fabric, lay them down right sides together, and then you're going to mark a diagonal line from corner to corner. Now what you're going to do is sew a half inch seam on both sides of that line in the middle. Once you have that sewn together, you're going to cut your two triangles apart from each other. Just along that line that you drew in the middle. Just like that. Now I've got all my pieces sewn together, I am going to press everything and then square it all to four and a half inches square. With all my pieces squared up, I'm not going to lay them all out. You can look at the orientation for this in the pattern below. Basically, all you're doing is you're going to take your focus fabric and put all of it towards the center square, which is right here. And then I'll just put all my focus color around it. There we go, just like that. Now go ahead and sew all of your rows together. Once you have all of your rows sewn together, the next step is to press them all out and then sew all of your block together. I got my block pressed and I also went ahead and trimmed it down to 12 and a half inches square. The next step is to put on your sashing, which is that one and a half inch by 12 and a half inch piece that you have. So we're gonna go ahead, lay that down along the edge, and I'm gonna pin that real good and sew it on. Once 
Once you have that done, your next step is to go ahead and put all of your blocks together. And you're just gonna go block, sashing, block, sashing, block, until you have your four across the top of your quilt. Once you have your four blocks sewn together with your sashing in between, your first row is done. At this point, you need to cut a little bit more sashing, again, one and a half inches wide, and sew that along the edge of your first row. And then from there, sew your second row to that, and so on until your quilt top is done. And there you have it. My quilt top is finished and it is looking awesome. I'm gonna take this over to our in-house long armor and get it quilted. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel and please consider sharing these videos with your friends. The pattern for this is free and it is in the description below, so please check that out. I'm Zach, teaching at a Silica Pro, and we'll see you next time here at Soyad Quilting.